Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run while we are playing Kirby and yeah, the Forgotten Land. Last time, uh, we ended up with 18% of the game done, which that's not too bad. Also, I think my settings got a little wonky here, so there we go. So I had to unplug the thing and plug it back in in order to make it work. So, there that is. But, yeah, it's working much better. Uh, so, 18%. So, by that math, we should be able to get to, like, round, round about 40, I think, today. Also, let me just adjust things on my end, because it's a bit quiet. There we go. I can make it louder on my end without making making it louder for you. Um, but if it is too quiet, please let me know. Uh, I think, yeah, we have a couple of riffs that we need to do, so let's start with those. Cutter, line them up. Toss and return. Oh, I... oh, so I have to hold it in. Toss and return. Got it. All right. I gotcha. I gotcha. You can go away. Uh, throw. Got it. It's an interesting way to, to do that. Cutters define the laws of physics. Tad on the quiet side. I bumped it up a little bit. There we go. Different settings for different games, eh? Also, I don't know if, like, the shadow cast is just naturally quieter or what. Burn over the belts, conveyor dash. Go! I guess that running into the bomb is not really what I want. Actually, I think I ran into a bomb there and it didn't it didn't really affect me. I ran into that though. Dang. Ooh, this is dangerous. Push the button. Kirby, please. Thank you. Probably can't take another hit, though. There we go. That's not gonna be a target time. Yeah, I didn't think so. Not hitting my times tonight. At least for, uh, for these challenge rifts, doesn't really matter as much. And this one, Pipe Mouth Treasure. 
Oh, right. I attempted this one a couple of times, and... Um... Lost it at the end. Well, let's see how things go this time. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> ah. Yep. Jump and jump. Oh. That is such a precision move. Oh, come on. Yeah, I... this attempt is over. Might gain a little bit of time if I don't hit all the Bronto Burts. At the same time, I don't want to fall off. Jump, jump, jump. Yep. Jump again, jump, jump. Too early. Jump, and jump. And jump. Jump. I said jump, Kirby. Okay, one more try. It's the modern day impossible game. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, sure enough, miss it that time. I think I can kind of modulate the jump too. There we go. I think I was like half a second off from the, uh... yeah, half a second off from the target time. You know what, that's fine. I can go for target times on my own time. Uh, so yeah, we didn't actually finish this world, did we? For some reason I thought we did. But, um, let's go with the invasion at the House of Horrors. Uh, four in Waldees and three other things. I got a lot. Okay. Cool. Um. Ow. That's pretty rad music, though. Also, I just ran into that guy. Hey, buddy, please get out of my way. Three of the ghost's hidden snacks. Hey, break this. Hey, guys. Bam. Hmm, 
What's over here? Okay. So I probably want to just hit you. Yeah. That's one of the hidden Waldies. It's also a checkpoint. This is checkpoint. I can't break these cuffs. Is this a new mouthful? That's a bright idea. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So pretty much I just want to use this to light my way. Is there a limit on how much I can use it? Also, it's, this is not a very good haunted house if it's actively trying to kill you, just saying. Okay, no, I cannot get over there. I should, however, be able to get... Well, if I actually jump, you know. Light this up. And get some treats. And I think there might be something behind this, too. Maybe not. I thought I saw something there. Yeah, maybe not. Let me get that. I want that. Oh, I had to jump backward. This is one of the, uh... Oh, this, that, yeah, that's one of the capsules. Oh, let me try again. What if I uh, put this away for a second? Yeah, there we go. That's how you do that. Grab it again. Oh. Hey, buddy. Okay, so that one-eyed Gordo. It's all excited when you uh, when you light up. What's over here? More goodies. Bunch of coins. Red door. Hurry, that seems incredibly dangerous. Okay, so I have the shotgun cutter. Then this. And just that easy. Second hidden Maldi. I like the kind of uh black light effect that's going on. Oh, so that's gonna... yeah, that's gonna retract. Alright. What's over here?
You don't light it up longer than you need to. Let's safely get that Waldy. Trying to see if there's any other hidden treats around here. Oh, there's one. Probably don't need this anymore. Ah! Dang it. Hmm. Yeah, that one's obviously... Yeah. This takes a little, uh, little modicum of uh, effort and observation. Hey, buddy. Press X to down. Oh, that's a big ambush. Fortunately, Kirby's got just the thing. That's all the hidden snacks. What's that? This definitely looks real. Hey, it's a blueprint! We can now upgrade Crash. I didn't think we'd be able to do that. Oh, jeez. I'm glad that's not an instant kill. Fake out there, buddy. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I figured they would do something like this. This is a mouthful of vending machine. What's that underneath there? That's something I can get. Doesn't look like that. Yeah, I think that's just decoration. I'm gonna guess that, uh, one of the objectives is to destroy all of these along the way. And you probably need to have, um, oh crap. I, yeah, I missed that wall at the end there. Is there a retry star? Looks like there is not. Oh well. So I missed one of the objectives completely, and that's clear without touching any ghost court? Oh! Yeah, I didn't miss it. I actually got it. So if I had gotten that last hidden model D, um, that would have been perfect. Oh well. Big Kaboo! Uh, what is this? 
Bolted Storage Mouth Kirby. That's a, that's a mouthful of a name. Kirby gained the Mysterious mouth, Mouthful Mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can uh, stuff an entire set of walkers into his mouth. This one won't budge. Wiggle, 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 and whoa! He just took a, chunk, a whole chunk of that wall down. Use this to find hidden routes you didn't know about. And wiggle and thrash until you tip over. Hey, who put this behind the behind the lockers? So one more stage before it falls, I guess. The Wandaria Dream Parade. Save nine Ds in that last stage. And we've opened up another rift. Toss him. Hit the bomb blocks. Jerk. Dang it. Do that in the wrong direction. And here's the end. Forty five second target time. Oh well. Um, I think let's go back to town and uh, upgrade our crash ability, which again I was not expecting to be able to do. But then again, we also upgraded the time, the the sleep ability. I think, eh? Time crash blueprint? I wanna make that! Gimme give gimme! Give Alright, let's let me get my tools ready, then we'll get this evolution started. Thanks for waiting! The crash ability can now be evolved into time crash! Oh, let's do let's do just that then. 1200 coins! And three, um, three upgrade stars. All right. So what does this give us? I imagine there's not a whole lot you can do with Crash, seeing as, you know, it's a one-shot ability. But, uh... Game seems to be excited about this one. Well, let's go test it out. Hey, buddy. You're about to meet your worst nightmare. Whoa! All right. That, that, uh, that was exciting. Okay. Um. Came in with Cutter. I'll leave with Cutter.
Uh, no, that's not the button I wanted. Which one is the button that I wanted? Um, there we go. Hold down R to make go fast. So, off to the parade. Five Indies. Let's do this. Actually, if you're giving me fire, I probably want fire. You're really quiet out here. Not exactly resembling a parade yet. Also, what's over here? Oh, there's a button. Now, fortunately, it was a blue button, so that stuff is gonna stay there. rescuing uh are we rescuing decky friends again yeah there's another one over there hello don't know how you keep getting misplaced but we'll go and find your mama there's one over there over here, you. Ow. Aha. Now, fifth one, as I fall off the platform like a genius. Here are your babies. Bibis. Bepis. That's all of them. Alright. Bunch of butterflies here. What's going on? Got some coin. Get out. Get out. Okay, sure. Get out. Get up there. You better get up there. I didn't want to dash directly into that door. Can I go back? Where did I come out of? Whatever. Alright, let's keep going. It definitely wants me to have Tornado. So that I can hit this button and get some treats. Oh, this is going to test my accuracy with Tornado, isn't it? Five seconds. Hmm. You know what? I think I want to map fold this cone first. What's what's down here? Oh, 
All right. And if you're just going to give it to me, that's fine. <laughs> About three and a half seconds. Oh, and that's the second one. Interesting. Then I missed one somewhere. You know what? I kind of want to see if there's anything else around here. Doesn't look like there is. Alright, back to the main game. Oh, geez. Completely missed you. Missed you again. There we go. Get out of here. Yeah, like the game. 100% wants you to have Terminator for this. Which means it's probably waiting to screw me over for not for not having a different ability. I think that was undo harm. as this a water blob. Actually, I missed one there. Can I... Anything happen? No. And apparently I can just kind of keep doing this. I don't run out of water. Unless I just blurred it all out. Sure, let's get a fresh supply for no real reason. By throwing an extra one in, Floor Tornado. Sweet. What if I throw another one in? Yeah, alright. I think the parade is coming here. Oh boy. There's a button here. Hey, there we go. 
More Kirby in the Ford. I think you may have forgotten to finish that sentence there, Tyrion. But, uh, yeah. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good night. And here we are at the end of the stage. Let's poke all of these things because it can. There we go. That's how it appeared on, on the <laughs> Twitch follow bar. There without stepping on any mud. Remove Alphalon, what did you do? Is this gonna be another one of those plots where the guy who's been kind of guiding us through the entire story ends up being the main bad guy? How do you pronounce that? Tor Torchilding, I guess. Whoa, Torchilding's shell is an entire building! This big bad, he must be some kind of boss for the smaller beasts. It enjoys basking in the sun, so it climbs to high spots and claims the whole area as its territory. It must take a long time for this critter to get up there. Gabon... Hothead. Both enemies we've seen many a time. Can't believe Elphil and stole the bank. Well, nine, uh, nine cleared there. Not too bad. It is a turtle indeed. Hello, Tyrion. Once again, Tyrion and Tyrion showing up at the same time. <laughs> And you're both just in time for this area's boss. But first, we have a couple of things to do. Huh. Floor tornado, tornado treasure. Alright. Uh, we got that. Showed up about three minutes ago. Hey, Ricky. How you doing? Hope you're doing well as well. Now let's see if we have uh, the money to upgrade Tornado. We're, we're getting, getting money at a pretty good clip though, so there's a pretty good chance we'll be able to upgrade this. Five hundred and two. All right. In the cafe, hardest mini game. You're not gonna bother. I might try the cafe mini game. Um. I I do kind of want to give that a, give that a shot on stream at least. So how does this differ from uh, I think is that little extra burst at the end there is the big thing. So now that we have this,
Fleur Tornado, Swirl and Tur- uh, Swirl and Twirl, Turn the Windmills. So that, that opens up two more. So I think the Floor Tornado might last a little bit longer. Oh, over in the corners there, alright. Didn't spot those. There we go. And this one. Alright. Keeping it going, keeping it going. Can't really get hit again. exciting. There we go. Just a little off from the target time. Could have optimized that a little bit more, but I'm fine as long as I get the star. Sword treasure. Slash wisely rope cutting quiz. All right, then. Uh, I think Spike can do that, but uh, at the very least, I haven't noticed that with. Uh, with the tornado. Oh crap. Alright. I don't know if I need all five, but I probably do. You definitely want to drop near it, but you don't want to drop directly on top of it. This was probably the cue. Just the fact that we were dropping on top of a uh, bunch of Gordos there. Okay. This one. There. Uh, so there are three, uh, and I probably want to just cut all of these. There we go. Ah, so getting them all was not required, but definitely cut like 10 seconds off your time. Okay, so I think that's it for rifts, at least in this world. I'll take just a little cursory glance around here, but I think we got everything. Danger under the big top. As usual, I will let the chat pick which ability we're using for this. So we have, 
What is that? Noble Ranger. We have Gigant Sword. And we have Chain Bomb. Which one shall we use? Lord Tyrion wants us to use gun. Zero wants us to use gun. And although Jason isn't here, I know he wants us to use gun. Also vote from Tyrion for gun, so... Lethal Leopard... Okay. I've seen this character before. Please don't ask me where. The answer is not good. Ow. Definitely want to let, let loose with uh, some full charge shots. Ow! to phase two just in time to... Oops. Alright, so this is just kind of a survival phase. Got it. Also, you need to remember that I do have... Ow. I do have that uh, recovery item. I'm going to use now. And that also gives us the Pencil Drill Blueprint. Hey! Hit high up Claralyn using Ranger. Alright, so I did actually have to hit her while she was, uh, while she was up on the pillar, huh? Alright. Oh well. Uh, I'm not aiming for 100% within this, the, context, the context of the stream. But we'll see what happens. So back to town we go.
I'm guessing I can go fight bosses there. Yeah, they, they've progressed on this. So now we have the Gacha Machine Volume 2. And the Colosseum. Not to be confused... Well, hello, Meta Knight. Alright, so that's where we fight him. And of course, we just got that blueprint. So, let's see what we got. We got Pencil Drill. Gee, I wonder who we're going to fight in the Colosseum. Hmm. We might not be able to afford this, actually. No, we're able to afford it just barely. I'm not really going to be able to afford to, to uh, do any gotcha stuff, though. We got Pencil Drill. Let's go give it a try. Um. Oh, okay. So when we come out, it launches a pencil nub. That's, that's cute. I don't know how much difference that's going to do. It doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage on Mr. Sandbag. Um, let's go try out the, the cafe game. Now that the Wall D Cafe is open, we're looking to hire some help. It's just a part-time gig. I suppose you're looking to, to start a career in food service. Are you hurting? I'll just do the easy one, at least for now, and see how that goes. Check each, cu each customer's food order, then select the item they want. The customer's uh, satisfaction le level gets too low, it'll be game over. So, cook, serve, delicious, but Kirby. Gotcha. Yeah, on easy, this is quite easy so far. And we'll see how things go, because the rush is about to start. Dang it. Well, that was almost perfect. Thirty four served. I think that's a pretty good score. Everyone got what they wanted, but that one guy, what a sucker. That's seventy four star coins. Alright. Hustle Gig and Frenzy Gig are now available. So are those like the dif different difficulties? Yeah, okay. Busier Shift, Super Busy Shift. Lunch Rush of Doom, okay. Anyway, I just wanted to at least demonstrate that. Thank you for your hard work, Kirby. Hope you can help us out again soon. A little cute little dining area here.
It looks like you got a couple of more buildings here for 145 and 180. Wait, did I see something here? Yeah. Anything over here? Not that I can notice. Well, let's go check this out. Welcome to the Coliseum's reception area! You can enter tournaments here and battle a rush of former bosses. If you make it to the end, uh, all the way to the end and come out on top, you'll win a special reward! And that's not all! We seem to have an unexpected warrior using our first tournament as training. All the way from Planet of Opstar, stuck in this new world like us, that's right! It's Meta Knight! So, are you gonna enter the tournament too? Sure, why not? Six battles. Okay, you're officially entered in the Meta Knight Cup! It's about to get intense in there, I can't wait! The entrance to the Coliseum is right over there! Prepare for some tough battles, then head on in! To be fair, Jewel, I was in the middle of a sequence. Thank you for the raid and thanks for uh thanks for coming in. Hope you're having a good night. Oh good. My options are uh Gigant Sword or Sleep. Um yeah, let's start with a sword. Good luck! You'll need it! Oh wait, wrong game. Here we go folks! Kirby has entered the arena! Turns out, uh, the jumping attack on Gigant Sword is kind of OP. Look at that. Uh, so we got uh, Pencil Drill and Toy Hammer, but I think I'm gonna hold on to the sword. The S Sword. And a fight Tropic Woods. How long can Kirby keep up his victory streak? The crowd is hyped to find out. I was trying to jump. That's that's the disadvantage with uh, with Gigant Sword, is it's very slow. Val's about to get way more intense! Keep those eyes aimed at the arena, folks! Slice and dice. Chain Bomb and uh, whatever this Junk Needle one is again, which I forget. Um, I only have six fights and I have six Smacks and Tomatoes, so I'm just gonna grab one. Looks like we have another mini, mini boss rush coming up. Turns out that having a giant slab of meat. Giant slab of meat? Giant slab of metal that has the audacity to call itself a sword slows you down. At the same time, gotcha, bitch!
Metal Meat. Esperanto. Interesting. I think one of my OCs has like a decent understanding of Esperanto. <laughs> uh, so Chain Bomb or Chakram? I think I'm gonna hold on to the sword. Yes, does come in Santo. See, it's the nice thing with uh, with Esperanto is that it's designed so that if you know any European languages, you can at least get a sense of what's being said. Taco Taco Tequila. Kirby's offense has made his opponent desperate. Things are about to get tough. Ow. I mean, if you just want to get stuck in the floor all the time, just give me the fight. Polish design language based in Germanic. <laughs> that sounds Latin. Yeah, I can kind of see what you're talking about, Jewel. Learn the basic structure of it within an hour. Nice. Uh, who are we fighting here? Oh, it's, yeah, okay. It's the second boss. The big monkey. Kirby may never be stopped. What is the secret to his colossal strength? The secret to my strength is Big Sword. Hang on to something, folks. Kirby's foe is about to go all out. Watch out, Kirby! Yeah. All out indeed. Fortunately, English counts as a European language. Alright, so I can keep my sword, which I'm gonna do. And my other options are Chakram Cutter and Sleep. Well, not like I have a choice. <laughs> Who would have thought that Meta Knight would force me to use sword? The Lone Swordsman, Meta Knight. Finally, the last battle! Which, which warrior will the Goddess of Victory smile upon today? That should have hit me, but it didn't. Ow! You're gonna charge, aren't you? Yeah. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, jeez. sure at this point Meta Knight just kind of fights Kirby for the hell of fighting Kirby. Hey, his main shtick is making sure that Kirby is constantly up to snuff for like 
the challenges that are coming as a way. Also, I wonder how much money he spends on masks. Whoa, a stunning victory over the Lone Swordsman Meta Knight! Kirby wins! Floating against Meta Knight Dishonorable? You know what? I won on my terms. I got 500 coins out of that. And a rare stone. And the Meta Knight Sword Blueprint. I guess I can evolve Sword further. I'm definitely not going to have the money for that, though. I want to sit in this chair. Yeah. There's got to be something for, uh, there we go. Oh, no reward there. Why not? So let's see how much that costs. Because, like, 100% I don't have the money for this. Yeah, I didn't think so. 1,200 coins and three rare stones. Uh, let's go talk to Professor Able to Read. How do you do, Kirby? Would you like to hear the latest info from around the world? You haven't missed any blueprints thus far. If I can read about a new blueprint's location, I'll help you find it. The soul gig world record is 5,740. 513 million of Wolfies defeated. I think I'm good on stats, thanks. Uh, sure? No, oh, okay. When you need wisdom, visit Wise Waddle D. He always has a tip. Excuse me. He always has a tip handy, and seems to know a lot about this new world. His magical encyclopedia can collect and share rankings from all over the world. Where did he even find that book? Anytime you'd like to learn more, I'll be more than happy to share. Here, have a figurine of, uh, of me to celebrate you talking to me so many times. After all, game three or four, both Meta Knight and King Gidi are closer to rivals at Oris and Antagonist. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's at least check this out. So 20 per, huh? Let's do 5. Digga. That's a name. For a digga, uh, moving, through the, moving through the ground is as easy as swimming. It just dives underground, then wiggle wiggle jump. Surprise! You never know what to expect when digga... Uh, kind of rude, actually. Um... He'll also throw, throw clumps of dirt at you and munch on ground-bound meals. That, that was a choice of names. Twister. Gigant Sword. This big old sword is definitely gigant. Ick. It's a bit hard to swing around, but it'll keep you well guarded. Use it to shield yourself from an attack, and then go on the offensive. That's three. Here's four. 
clutter needle. Pointy, spiky clutter all rolled up into a ball? It's needles upon needles. What a powerful weapon. Roll forward, then release to send your sharp cutter flying out around you. Ouch. I can't dick. And Tornado. Pull enemies, blocks, and stars into your cyclone, then release them to deal damage. This ability's controls might make you dizzy, so whirl, swirl, and twirl, but try not to hurl. That'll be good for now. Because we still gotta save up for that Meta Knight Sword. Meta Sword does tend to be a pretty good time. So, on to our next uh, wintry world, Winter Horns. Let's just go directly into our first level here. Northeast Frost Street. Four hidden D's, let's go. Still love they decided to reference Kirby 64. Time to chill. It's a good thing that for the most part, um, the um, Warp Star can just kind of drive itself. Especially when Kirby decides to look backward and be like, Hi! I'm breaking the fourth wall. So Tyrion, I'm pretty sure... Oops, wrong button. I'm pretty sure that if we're going to find a blueprint for ice, we're probably going to find it in Ice World. I remember where the blueprints are. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. We found all of them so far. Side alley, I guess. Whatever the game wants to call it. Anything behind this wall? Looks like no. Can't get a good angle from here. Kirby, look in the right direction when you're trying to shoot. Okay, that one was my fault. Let me get this coin as well, just in case there's anything else secret there. And vending machine. If there's anything we can go back for, 
Probably not, though. Of course, I say that. This game does like, oh, this series in general, does like to hide things in weird places sometimes. This is trying to be easy to play, but hard to 100%. Ow. That's, uh, that was unfortunate. That, however, was not. That's a first D. This shot a creature minding its own business. Listen, Kirby is the universe's most adorable uh, eldritch abomination and does not discriminate against anything unless it has been, like, explicitly nice to him. It's not really a lesson that you want to teach kids. But that's what Kirby is. So. This. Turns out we have the right ability for this. And I did somehow manage to hit that target, despite the fact that I fell off. Red door, let's go. And that's number two. They're reassuring us here that we are indeed meant to go back through the same door. It's okay if we're firing against Scarfy. Scarfy is never minding his own business. And he's always minding our business and will get in our business. That's number three. Although admittedly, as far as far as what I was just saying, Kirby's killed a lot of Waddle Dees, and he's not doing that this game. So lots of weird morality questions going on. Yeah, Scarfy is the one creature you do not mess with if you don't have an ability. 
True that. Make sure that we properly survey the area for any uh, secrets hidden. Let's go ahead and move this over here. Ow. Tempted to actually go there though and see if there is anything. A little corner here that I might be able to dip into. No, I guess not. It is about to disappear. I think. Um, I think I needed that bomb. Or... Hmm. What is going on here? There's got to be another way to get that. Okay, well, there's some bombs here. Thank you. Kick the can, because always kick the can. Okay, so... I mean, there's obviously something here, right? Oh, I think I know what I gotta do. Frankly, this was easy to figure out. Hey, break. Break that, no? Okay. Let's drop this down here. It's weird that I'm immune to the um, the snowballs. There we go. I'm immune to things if I'm falling over. But I can definitely get hit by them if I'm upright. That's all the hidden D's. And while D's and Kirby only fight if King DDD wills it, so pretty much, yeah. I think I want Ranger again. to aim for the switch, but I hit the switch and the guy, so... Alright, he wants the D! Hey! So only, only destroyed one of the snow sculptures. I also need to reach the clock tower. Okay. Blade Knight. And Blipper. 
captured Waddle D. One of the Waddle D is being held captive by the fearsome beast pack. There are so many out there waiting to be saved. You can almost hear them calling out for help. Let me out, let me out. Wait, you hear that too? One of them must be nearby. Noble Ranger, the most experienced of marksmen, requires the fanciest of hats. Okay, sure. Uh, fi uh, fire a barrage of, of shots with dual-wielded pop guns. You can release a flurry of char shots too. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. And we got eight of uh, eight of the D's in that uh, stage. We've unlocked two rifts, and of course, now that we've done the first uh, stage in this world, now it's time to go survey for uh, any additional rifts that we might be able to find. Ooh, there's something here. That's money. Oh, there's a rift here. Oh. Meta Knight Sword Treasure, so we can't do that yet. That's probably a stage. Here's another one. Light bulb mouth. I think that's about all we're gonna find for now. Oh, that's what's over here. Two coins. Not bad. All right, I am satisfied with that. So let's go ahead and start doing these. Chain Bomb, cast a line, Chain Bomb Trial. Pressing the wrong button. There we go. It's kind of a fun one right now. I'm probably doing this very poorly, but uh, yeah, it's fun. I really need to work with the current more though. That chain bomb coming in clutch, though. There's another rare stone. 13 seconds off the target time. All 
Alright, next up, Light Bulb Mouth. Shine and seek. Into the ghost maze. kind of want to tap. Oh. Because you do move slower while the light bulb is on. Dang. Make sure. Ah, trying to trick us. I'll not so easily be fooled the game. However, act like a fool is definitely something that I'm gonna do. Ah, five seconds off. Oh. Okay, so one more, which is the Clutter Needle. Roll up and throw. Clutter Needle Trial. And I repeat after me. Na 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 katamari damashi. There we Wrong na 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 there, Tyrion. missing a couple of them. Now keep in mind that you get a little boost of speed when you actually hit something. Is that going to be fast enough? Oh my goodness, yes! And got it by about four-fifths of a second. So that leaves us with just the one which we're going to need Meta Knight Sword for. Uh, I think it's just the one anyway. Let's double check. Yep, Meta Knight Sword. And that's all. Time for Metro on Ice. Four hidden Ds. Let's do it. It is Tyrion. I'm sure this milk is fine. You know what? You get to live. Kirby is being benevolent for no real reason. Equally infuriating to miss by fractions.
Although honestly, sometimes, depending on the context, getting it by a fraction of a second can be kind of annoying. Like I was practicing my um, my Super Smash TV run with Zero before the stream today. Uh, after I think we had like six runs, um, I was able to improve my PD on the last run by a second. So I went from 803 to 802. Hmm. Oh, a little something back there. Also, I am going to guess that the frozen water probably hurts. The hit FPS set in the Russian subway system now is a nice show. I think this is more of a third person shooter, honestly. Also, you're giving us crash. Stand on top of two trains. Alright, so I've stood on top of one train. Now this is just cool. Until you fall into the water. too. Like, if you hit a new enemy, it's it restarts the timer. Oh, this is... this is amazing. Oh, that was so cool. There's our second train, so we've uh, found an additional Waddle D. I wonder if there's anything like over here? Looks like no. I hear... a little wawa. And enough muns for that sword upgrade. I do have the required money. We can do that after we're done with this stage. Yeah, I never really understood the need for, like, having to make things one way. Like, just the general concept of, I'm in- I'm on this screen now, I can't go back. Why not? Because we said so. Oh, there's a spike over there too. That gives us a capsule. Hmm. Anything else over here? 
Also, I wonder if you can get, uh, you can probably get hammer from these guys, eh? It's nice of them to, uh, provide, like, a regular enemy you can get hammer from, if that's the case. Find two secret passages. Tradition from the older games and programming wasn't as sophisticated. Yeah, it could be. It's sort of the same concept as, uh despawning items. I can understand in some contexts where a despawning item might be uh, like a reasonable core mechanic. Which is mostly like in the context of a uh, an arcade game. But mostly that's uh, that's from a bygone era of like memory conservation that doesn't really need to happen anymore. Like memory conservation also like um, sprite reduction too, because usually items were represented as sprites. Having too many sprites on the screen could really slow you down. Oh, there's a portal here. Should take us back to the entrance. Yeah, there we go. I can hear a wall Probably in this box. Yeah. That's three of them. Considering how much we can plug into RAM now, yeah. What's up here? Anything over here? Nope. But we do find this. And now we can break through this ice. And find a capsule. 16 gigabyte I have on my laptop is probably considered moderate to low at this. Yeah. Especially with how uh, most modern browsers are. It's gotten a bit silly. Yeah, I also have 16 gigabytes in my computer. I'm like, I would love to be able to double that, I just don't have the money. I guess that's one thing, like, RAM isn't too expensive. Considering, like, how the price of everything is going up, RAM is still generally, like, half reasonably priced. Check inside the shipping container and we got a capsule out of that. 
There's still one, uh, oops, still one secret passage somewhere that we, we still need to find. Cash as you get from video cards and CPUs. Unless the secret passage is like right here, I don't think we're gonna find it. There's a secret spot here though, I think. No, that was just the uh, twinkling effect. I passed right through that cage. Now fixed cars are starting to go back down? That's good. Maybe someday I'll be able to get uh, an upgrade. I'd be happy with a 3050, honestly. It's like $350 or something like that. Still an upgrade over my 1050. Model D. These delightful residents of Planet Pop, Spar Pop Star landed in the New World before Kirby arrived. Things looked grim when wild bees began to capture them and steal their precious food, but with Kirby's help they're rebuilding the town and starting over. A Kirby burger? Wait, how did- How is there a Kirby burger? Now I can see these posters existing because of the bees gang. It's a mobile edition, so probably not much of an upgrade path, eh? The Kirby Burger is 90% error. So that opens up another two rifts. Which are going to be Pencil Grill and Noble Ranger. But there's still the matter of this one, Meta Knight Sword Treasure, which as Jewel pointed out, we can afford now. Twelve hundred and three. Expensive son of a gun. Oh, yeah, the mask and everything. Nice. This evolution will allow you to enter the portal for the Mennonite Sword Treasure in Winter Horns. Go try it out. Well, let's give it a try on Mr. Sandbag first. Now, much faster than the Gigantor. Probably does more DPS too. Let's go ahead and finish wrecking this sandbag. There we go. Alrighty. So now we have our third form of sword. Lead me to wonder if there's going to be a third form for all of the abilities or just sword. I guess time will tell. We still have a pretty decent way to go through this game. We got three um, rifts to do before we go into the next stage. And we shall be doing that after the break. So in about 10 to 15 minutes we will reconvene, do those three next rifts, and check out our next stage and uh, more than likely finish this world. 
At least get a peek at the next, maybe we'll finish it too. Who knows? Depends on how fast we can go. So, see you in a bit. <laughs>